Part 2. Crimson Flower. Pegasus Moon. Tempest of Swords and Shields. With Deirdre under Imperial control, the Leicester Alliance ceases to exist, and its remaining lords ally themselves with the Empire. The Black Eagle Strike Force, having now conquered all of Eastern Fodland, confidently moves to invade the kingdom. And that concludes Count Burgley's report. Just as your majesty predicted, the old alliance has willingly fallen under imperial rule. However, even with Claude dead, there is no telling what manner of poison he left in his wake. We must be careful not to expose any weakness. Of course, though it seems we can now attack the kingdom without issue. True. However, you should know that Lord Arendelle has entered Deirdre. It would seem he has already started collecting the relics of the Old Alliance. Let him do as he pleases for now. It's not yet the time to chide him. Understood. As for the Kingdom, as we theorized, it is not entirely united. If we defeat the royal family of House Blathed, and a handful of other notable houses, it should fall under our control quite readily. Those we must target include the houses Fraldarius, Galatea, Gautier, and Karen. What about House Row in Aryan Road, the fortress city? Will they not side with us? The head of House Fraldarius, Lord Rodrigue, has entered the city. It is possible that he has seized it. I see. Then it might prove too difficult to strike Ferdiad right away. Either way. When preparations are complete, we can begin our deployment into the Kingdom. That part of the plan remains unchanged. Professor, is something wrong? Yes, I don't imagine that you have much interest in a running list of noble names. But it matters not. The nobility and the weight of all those names will be gone once the war is over. This month, we must again put all of our effort into preparing for battle. I'm counting on you, my teacher. <gasps> Professor, you didn't hear anything just now, did you? Cute! Huh. Well, be that as it may, it is not your concern. It was nothing. I told you it was nothing and I meant it. It's just... well... there was a rat. I don't enjoy the company of rats. I believe I've told you about this before. About when I was held captive beneath the palace. There were a lot of rats there. To this day, I just... What? Oh, Professor, leave here at once. I recall now that Hubert needs to speak with me. I must change my clothes. Now, whatever you do, don't look this way. Ah, uh, then forget what you saw. That's an order.
Following the Alliance's defeat, the Black Eagle Strike Force prepares to invade the kingdom. But the kingdom's new allies, the Knights of Saros, begin to make an advance of their own. After appearing in ALL, the Valley of Torment, and following the border south, the Knights of Saros openly march to recapture the monastery at Gerig Mach. From the north, their flag bears the symbol of the Knights of Saros. One of our troops has already intercepted them. Your Majesty, please give us your orders. From the north? Interesting. Could it be they journeyed through Aelo, the Valley of Torment? Is the Archbishop among the enemy ranks? If so, focus our attacks on her first. Understood. Our enemy knows Garrick Mok inside and out. They can come and go as they please. It would have been best if we had detected them sooner, but that can't be helped. Professor, we must hurry and intercept them ourselves. I'll leave the preparations to you. Huh. The battle looks to be rather cumbersome. We are still guarding all of Garrick Mok, but there are undoubtedly numerous secret passages and magic traps. There is still much about this place that we do not know. It is quite possible they will attack from a location we cannot anticipate. I must head out first to give my orders. I'll meet up with you soon. Call for General Randolph and General Ladislava. Hurry! It feels like only yesterday we called this place our home. We must show these fools the error of their ways. They shall pay for the sin of invading Garrig Mok. Oh, but the Professor is fighting alongside our foe. The same one who saved my life! That is true. Though I find forgiveness difficult, we do owe that wayward soul a debt. However, the fact remains that because of the Professor, Rhea has long been tormented. To think that the vessel of the Goddess, entrusted with the sword of the Creator, could go on to... Ugh, it angers me to even think of it. All that has happened has changed Rhea. I imagine it has changed the Professor as well. Even if we prevail, I doubt that the Church can ever fully return to the way it once was. Um... Brother? Dear Flame, I only brought you with me because you were so insistent. Still, no matter what happens, you must not go near the front lines. If something were to happen to you, it would utterly destroy me. You are my reason for breathing. Do you understand? I... I understand. If something were to happen to you, it would break my heart. I could not go on either. I cannot help but wonder if there is a way to end this without fighting the Professor.
Our surprise attack on Garrick Mach was a success. Now we just need to break through past this point. Lady Rhea and Catherine are holding back most of the Empire's army, thereby leaving us, the Expeditionary Force, free to recapture the monastery. Our enemies have followed us even here. How unfortunate. Your Majesty, the enemy's movement is suspicious. They may have some tactic in mind. If so, then let's face them without delay. Form defensive lines and hold them to the death. Strike down all who approach. Their troop composition is also strange. I would bet that they are concealing additional soldiers. I will prevail. I'm awake. Fight, then rest. Put me in there. More fighting. Will this ever end? I'll cut a bloody path. Sunshine. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my research. What's my strategy? Understood. So... Ready for anything. For the Empire! For the fate of Foden. My efforts are paying off. I do this for all of us. Well done. <laughs> Must lead them well. Now, come at me, 
so that I may put you out of your misery. I must continue to develop. The enemy is transporting large quantities of flammable material into the woods. They clearly intend to attack us with fire. We should do all we can to prevent it. Troops waiting in the woods to ambush? We must avoid any suspicious areas as we advance. being defeated by me. My allies are much worthier. Live and fight. I'm continuing to improve.
The time is now! As long as we stand here, you shall not pass! Bridget, I find strength to carry on. That was fun to watch. <laughs> A lucky break. finished it. are within reach. Only thorns left on this rose. All this power just to survive.
Thank you. You fiend, bearing ill will against the goddess. This place will be your grave. You're weak! How much of this can you take? It doesn't matter. We will be reclaiming Garrick Mach. Slow! This is the cost of war. I knew it. Shouldn't have let emotion get in the way. Shamir, no! I will avenge you. Gerald, I did it. I protected the monastery. Our enemy's plan is in ruins. Still, we must tread carefully. Imagine being defeated by me.
burns with pride. Power with abandon. Try to keep up. Her will demands it. It's win or die. Joke of a life drags on. This could turn the tides. This makes me terribly sad, but this is my duty, to which I must be true. Forgive me. I am returning to Mother now. Before you do. Flane! Please, no! No! Thanks for helping. No time for pity. I'll strike you down! Let's keep up the pace! Not bad. Unexpected. Seems 
like fighting is all I do these days. What a bother. This wouldn't have happened in my youth. Trespassing on holy ground is a grave sin indeed. You must atone for it with your life. Tread carefully. years. Yet, there was still more I wished to do. We fought them off. Good work, everyone. We've repelled the principal force of the Knights and defended Garrig Mok. Hubert, I require a damage report at once. Yes, Your Majesty. We will have to make inquiries about the status of the main army. Indeed. After all, it seems they had Rhea and Catherine fighting on their side. Lady Rhea, I am afraid I must report that we lost Sedeth and Flane. We were able to make a clean sweep of those who came to attack us, the unit that invaded the monastery has been completely driven away. A bitter disappointment. I fear we can do nothing but retreat for now. Said it. Flay. First my mother, and now those two have been stolen away as well? Must you take everything from me? Lady Rhea. No amount of repentance will bring your wretched soul salvation. You will be chained to the Valley of Torment. Eternally walk the desert until the skin rots from your bones. I will ensure that you pay for your sins, Professor! In the name of the Nabatans, I swear it! Edelgard! Your Majesty, I am so sorry. Silence. We must tend to your wounds. It will do no good. I can't be saved. You must know that. Vladislava has also passed. The enemy has withdrawn. You are safe now. Understood. Good work. Another loss on my watch. As more blood wets my feet, they grow heavier with each step. Remorse, resentment, despair. I have dispensed with all such things to come this far. And we must keep moving forward. Hubert, tell me the status of the enemy. The battle has ended in a draw with severe injuries on both sides. Some known commanders have been slain. The most worthy of mention among the dead was the second-in-command to Rhea herself, Sedith. With the death of Alois, 
the Knights of Saros have taken a huge blow as well. Garrig Mach has not taken much damage, and so it would not be out of line to claim it as a victory for us. Yes, we'll call that a victory. Although, I'm sure they will say the same. Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, what a terrible opponent that was! Why is the church always like this? How am I supposed to train for that? It was way too scary. When I saw the enemy enter Garrig Mach, I prepared myself mentally for death. I thought it would be a fine time to die, but I suppose it wasn't quite the time after all. Our luck was good to have grabbed victory. The church has great strength. We must not have grief, but must keep fighting. Can we be fighting now? This was certainly a momentous victory. We lost a lot, but we also gained a lot. Certain lords in the kingdom have examined the situation again and decided to join our cause. Changing their fealty based on just one battle. They are all a disgrace to the nobility. Today, our enemy held many faces I knew well. If we must fight to the death with that kind of opponent, what will become of this world? There's no stopping me! I'm ready to go strike the kingdom here and now! Everyone must see that we can easily unite Fodlan, don't you think? Excellent job, everyone. The battle is over now. While we have sustained heavy losses, our foe has suffered far more. Although not exactly as planned, a win is a win. It may be safe to say that there will be no more obstacles on our way to the next battle. We will break through the Tailteen Plains and then set course for Ferdiad, the Kingdom Capital. The final chapter of our fight with the Kingdom and the Church is close at hand. <laughs>